Hey guys, it's such an honor to be here with John Bevere. If you remember just a few months ago, Lisa was with us and we all love Lisa. Yes, we do. And hey, that's, a, that's good. That's leading up to our first question, John. Um, and we know what a powerhouse Lisa Bevere is. And John, I follow you as well. And the two of you um, seem to be jet setting around the world. You are world changers. Um, and you are going every which way. There's a, there's a mandate on your life, no doubt, right now for the kingdom. And I know, you know our callings are important. But I want to ask you this question because I know there's women out there that you feel like you're so busy, your husband's so busy, and you don't know how to connect. So how would you say, because you're doing kingdom work, you know, and I had to struggle through that because if it was God's work, then Phil came second because it was like a calling on my life until I understood that he was my first calling. Mm -hmm. So talk to me and women a little bit about how do the two of you keep intimacy, relationship, friendship, you know, as two people that are, have callings and busy, busy, busy? You know, um, first of all, there's, I'm such a believer in the grace of God. Mm. And there is grace on our life to do what we do. Uh, because honestly, I can say we've been married 35 years last week. Mm. And Congrats. I love her more today mm. than the day I married her. Mm. And that's honestly true. Yeah. What we do is we learn to balance our life with intervals of real quality time together. So we always make sure that when we get time together, we really get it together. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of fixes both of us for the couple days we're going to be apart, whatever it's going to be. Yeah. And we, we, just, we just really try to engage. We do things together. Like I remember Lisa and I walked into a motorcycle shop mm -hmm. and she just loved this ninja. And I said, we're buying it. She's yeah. like, we're not even going to pray about it. And I said, no, we're not even praying about it. We're That's buying good. this. And I'm going to get myself a motorcycle and we're mm -hmm. going to do this together. That's good. And I'm always trying to find things that we can connect mm -hmm. with on. Yeah. But I would just say that um, when we get together, we, we always make sure that there's times that we get together where we really have quality time. Mm -hmm. And that's just so important. Yes. And then because we're both very much kingdom people, we, our conversations are really around mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And so we love yeah. our children mm -hmm. dearly. Mm -hmm. And we're very strong with family. Mm -hmm. We try to gather the family mm -hmm. every every week. Yeah. And so we're always yeah. very, very careful about these things. And then, like, you know, we'll be in Thailand in January doing a big conference over there. We'll go to, like, where James Bond shot the movie for three days. Yeah. And we'll, we'll just do little yeah. things like that. So I'm hearing from you have commonality. Yes. So have something. So women, if you say I don't have anything in common with my husband, you do. Find it. Or you, yeah, you wouldn't have been attracted to him in the first place. So you mean to go back and say, what was it? So you have commonality and you have fun. Yeah. Just laugh. Yeah. Just have fun. Yeah. And of course, you know, we, we laugh a lot in our home. Yeah. We oh, do. I'll bet. She, yeah. She is an amazing woman. Yeah. And we're excited to have you here as well. Next question I want to ask you. Um, in pursuing the Holy Spirit, and there is a movement with women of influence. I've just written a romance novel with a young girl that falls in love with the Holy Spirit. And yeah. I'm very much about that. teaching women how to have intimacy with the Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit loves us desperately. He yes. loves us desperately. And a lot of women, you know, we grew up in the church and we hear about God and we hear about Jesus, but not all of us understand how to pursue intimacy with Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So explain to us how you feel. You you hear from Holy Spirit, how you know it's Holy Spirit and not the pizza last night you ate. All right. Right? And that intimacy that you personally have with Holy Spirit. I, I always look for his presence. Hmm. Um, you know, have you ever received like let's say a prophetic word and it's just flat no presence then you get a prophetic word and the presence of God accompanies it yeah. so you we we are spiritual beings we know when his presence is near mm -hmm. so I'll put a lot less weight on a prophetic word where I don't sense the presence of God I'll put a lot heavier weight where I sense mm -hmm. the presence of God of course the word of God always has to be the final authority right but there are times we'll get words from the Lord that you're not going to find verse and script chapter and verse on it right, right. But I think with the Holy Spirit, what has really helped me is understanding his tenderness. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, I, I, I wrote a book on the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I brought out is, is that, you know, when God created man and woman, he created man and woman in his image mm -hmm. and in his likeness. Well, you have the Father, you have the Son. Where's the female representation mm -hmm. in the Trinity? Tenderness. I believe it's the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm not saying he's a woman. I'm not saying he's a female or a goddess. Okay. What I am saying is that there are personality characteristics yep. that you find in a woman, unique to a woman, mm. that you'll find in him. Yeah. And that was what was imparted. So mm. if you look at a woman, um, you know, if it, it's amazing. I mean, Jesus 
you know, and the Father protect the Holy Spirit. He said, all sins will be forgiven mm -hmm. um, of people that have spoken against me. Yeah, yeah. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. well, I look at, I'm, here I am, a husband. You can talk bad about me. You talk bad about my wife. You're mm -hmm. in trouble, mm -hmm. right? Right. Okay, That's so, right. you know, here's Jesus and the Father mm -hmm. protecting him. Mm -hmm. I, I look at him. He's grieved. I have literally um, spoken harshly, let's say, to my, my son, right? And uh, my son and I are great in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Two days later, Lisa's like, I'm still a little upset with you for speaking <laughs> in our son that way. Mm -hmm. Two days ago, I'm like, oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, I have discovered that with him, okay? I have like, I remember one time I was in my basement. I was like, Lord, you know, what, what, what's going on? And the Lord said, can I remind you of how you spoke to your wife last night? And I was like, whoa. So I grieved him. And if you look at the word yes. grieved in mm -hmm. Ephesians 4, it's yeah. surrounded by abusive talking, harsh talking, yeah. all of this. Yeah, so good. I see that, you know, understanding mm -hmm. um, him in that light mm -hmm. has helped me relate to him yeah. better. Yeah. Okay, so when, when, I, when I got married, my dad was a very quiet World War II dad. Mm -hmm. So he didn't really prepare me for my marriage, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, okay, women are logical. And I all of a sudden realized, no, 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 they're mm -hmm. feelers. Mm -hmm. I'm logical, mm -hmm. they're feelers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden I have to learn this dynamic of being so close with Lisa. Yeah. And I believe the same thing happened with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That's good. And when Holy Spirit and I began to, to connect that way and I started protecting the way I talk to, you know, how am I going to talk to people? How am I going to do this? Because I don't want to mm -hmm. grieve him. So good. So, so good. you know, he literally walks mm -hmm. with us. Mm -hmm. And you have to be, you know, it, it, it's amazing. If you turn to him, he's there. If you ignore him, he's not there. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, I mean, he's still I know, there. I know exactly his presence, but it's like his I, could be, I could be walking with you down the road. Like we just walked across the street over here, right? Yeah. I could be sitting there ignoring you, and you're not going to talk to me. Mm -hmm. But I can engage in conversation with mm -hmm. you, and you can engage in mm -hmm. conversation with me. I find a lot of people just don't engage with him. Right. Absolutely. So. Such a good word. I, lo I love that concept of not grieving him. And when we grieve him, we don't sense his presence. Just as you said, he's there, but right. he's silent because you're silent. I tell people all the time, Holy Spirit's silent because you're silent. He wants to speak with you. He does. He yeah. wants to converse with you. Well, in our few moments left, because I know we just had a few moments, you're getting ready to go speak. If you could say one thing to the women of influence, mm -hmm. as a husband, as a man, so some women are married, some women are in a relationship, engaged possibly, what do we need to hear from a man that a woman could do to love her man? What do we need to do as women to love our men? What, what advice would you give us? Is that a hard <laughs> I, I, you, question? You put me in the corner on that one. No, man, I need to hear. I need well, to hear. you know, there are things that you hear over and over after years and years of ministry from guys and I, I'd rather address the men but you're, you're putting me on the spot here because what do you need what do you, what do men because you know you just made a great and this is off the cut you can just tell we're just talking here guys you know you made a comment about Lisa and you know you're this World War II kind of kid and you just grew up with your dad this and here she's a feeler if women don't know what men need Right. You know, my husband and I talk about this all the time, you know, whether it's love languages or anything else, you know, right. he, he is, you know, he loves gifts. You know, I'm, I'm at words of affirmation. You know, he's always on Amazon buying himself gifts because I don't buy him gifts, you know, those kinds of things. But on the other side, there's things that we as women need to know that men need, maybe just to feel that men have to be respected. There you go. And it, it's so important yeah. for us. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like, I wouldn't care if a thousand people loved me and loved what I did and I was on a trip and they all came up to me they're the one that I needed to say wow I appreciate what you're doing is Lisa yeah. um, men so men want to have more time with their wives believe it or not in other words we sometimes are on social media so much mm -hmm. that it's like somebody's left out mm -hmm. and so when you're with your husband be present with your husband That's good. put social media down for a few minutes mm -hmm. I think a lot of guys really would appreciate mm -hmm. that. And um, of course, guys want women to engage with them and what they love to do. Mm -hmm. So um, I always admire when I see a woman and uh, like, I'm a golfer. There's a woman at our, our club that she just loves to walk when there's a tournament with her husband. Mm -hmm. 
she will literally just walk because she likes hiking. She, mm -hmm. And so she looks at it as a hike, 18 old hike. Mm -hmm. And she'll even tell, he told me the other day, he's like one of the best golfers in our club. He's won some of our championships. He said, she knows when my swing's out of kilt. Mm -hmm. he's, now I could tell he was glowing when he said that yeah. because his wife had noticed that much in detail. Mm -hmm. And so she encouraged him mm -hmm. in that area. That's good. And so That's I, good. And, but, but, but the same goes for men, mm -hmm. you know? You know, I, I will be on airplanes going overseas and I'm looking for a chick flick. Yeah. Because I want to preview it. Oh, you are so, so my husband. I home. Legally Baby? Blonde is his favorite. Well, my, mine's uh, What a Girl Wants uh, uh, Ever After. <laughs> I have introduced my wife to some of the best chick flicks we've watched and why together. why do we like James Bond? I mean, there's something oh. wrong with this picture, all uh, right? I, I wish my wife liked James Bond, but she doesn't. <laughs> you know you know what I just heard John say? Now, write it down because it's good. Number one, we have to respect our husbands. Number two, we have to give them, um, we have to be present. That's what you said. We have to be right. present with them. Well said. And then we have to notice them. That's what you said with the golf. She right. knows. So I have to respect my husband. Yes. I have to be present when we're together. And I have to notice special things about my husband. And I think those are three of the greatest pieces of advice you can give women but of influence. Can I say something you to can. your ladies? Absolutely. Um, I just want to, I'm almost 60, I want to affirm you. Mm. I want to say that God's got a call in your life. That the Bible says in the last days there's going to be a great company of women that are going to proclaim the kingdom. You're, you're in that company. You're one of those people. And I look at Jesus. Uh, his hometown didn't affirm him. They just said, hey, he's the carpenter's son. And the Bible says he couldn't do any mighty works. Absolutely. I believe so many women have not been able to flourish in their callings because we men, we fathers, we husbands have not affirmed you. And I, I just want to say, if, if, if you're single out there, you've gone through a tragedy of a divorce, let me tell you, as a church father, I want to affirm you that God wants to do great, great exploits mm -hmm. through your life. He will. And so go get them. Amen. Go get them, girl. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. your heart is so big for humanity. And you're, thank you're you for so that. Kind. Thank you, John. Well, guys, good word. Um, we're so appreciative to have you. We love John. We love Lisa. Pray for the Beveers. God has anointed this couple in a mighty way. And you could be a part of the kingdom by simply praying for this couple. Thank you so much for your thank time. You. God bless it's been you. It's a pleasure. Bye, guys.